Hi everyone, welcome back to another quick tip video. Uh, Creality has just released a new software version. It is now 2.5.7 and it is released for both Windows and Mac. There are a couple of changes I thought were worth mentioning. And so I'm creating this video to show these changes. The first thing you may notice if you're using the current version 2.5.4, at least for Windows, if you click on the help menu and go to check update and then click on the check button, it will look for the latest version and it will say it is on the current latest version 2.5.4, which is incorrect. I'm sure this might change in time, but for the moment it just seems to be that way. Now to get the latest version, you need to go to the Creality Cloud website. There'll be a link in the description. On the main website, you want to go to to software and firmware and then go to software a new window will pop up you want to then go to CR studio and here you can see the new version 2.5.7 for Windows and also down here for Mac it is 2.2.3 but it has the same date and the same features listed in the description so download that install it and then you'll have the new version which I'll show you now the first thing you'll notice when you open the new software the 2.5.7 version this user interface guide I think it's only in this version and maybe shown in the previous version as well I can't quite remember but if not it is showing now you can just click on no prompt so it doesn't show the next time you open the software but if it's the first time seeing it I recommend just going through each of the sections and it will just give you a little bit of detail about the user interface scanning previewing etc so it's worth having a little read if it's your first time if you already know about this stuff you can just click on no prompts and then close it so there's a couple of changes I want to show you if you go to check update it will show you the changes here as with most releases the general changes are just some bug fixes crash fixes etc interface logic improvements but the main two I want to to discuss is the manual alignment interactions and also the PLY file type data export. I'm going to first open an old project and then I'll show you these changes. The first thing is that there is now an additional export function if you go to oh, first making sure you have a cloud data layer picked you can go to file and then export and you have a couple of options here ASC cloud and PLY. PLY is the main new one. Now I don't have any experience with exporting and using mesh data but those of you that do this probably know what it is and you can now export with PLY. It may have even been available in the previous version but then it was removed but in that case it's back just because I heard someone commenting about that. Anyway PLY is now able to be exported but the big main change is with the manual alignment process. They have a new three window way of aligning manually. What I mean by that is previously when you go to align and you'd say you'd have to enable your transform operator, you'd pick one, you'd rotate it around, etc. So it was a little bit of a pain to move things around so then you could orientate them back together. Now you have this other option. So when we go to manual alignment, you'll see the UI splits into three windows. What this is, this first window down the bottom is your main window. It shows all the layers. These two are going to be your scan layers individually. So if we move our first one in here, you can see our first scan here and our second scan here. So this just makes it way easier. So we'll add our mark points. It makes it way easier to look at both our models without having to move anything and then going about and picking our points for alignment. As an example, I might just give this a try. Uh, select a second one. We might go top of their head here and here and then a third one if we can get a point maybe maybe we'll do this point on the knee and the point on the knee and then we can click on align and there we go so you can see that it just it's so much easier to do manual alignment now because it's separating those two layers for you and you're just picking the points between them you don't have to go about and manually move things and rotate them out of the way first it can just be done in this one manual window now so that's all the changes for now uh, i thought it was just worth mentioning those couple of things and thanks for watching